Mel here from Love This City TV. As you can see, we're at the Rogers Center, day before Sensation White Toronto. I'm here with Eric, one of the masterminds behind Sensation, not just in Toronto, but worldwide. Eric, what you're doing is an incredible show for people to experience. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Thank you very much. Well, it's a joy to do it. It's, uh, uh, well, we started 20 years ago about doing parties in Holland uh, because we used to visit the, those parties ourselves, but it, they were really small, minor and illegal at the moment. Uh, and it got a little bit out of hand, so now we're doing the biggest uh, sport arenas in the world, so including the Rogers Centre in Toronto. I think there's a little history behind Sensation as well with two brothers. Can you expand on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, we started as a group of friends doing these parties uh, and uh, after the first sensation which was uh, held 15 years ago in Amsterdam, unfortunately the, one of the guys uh, got killed in a car crash uh, and we were shocked of course but we didn't want to mourn that he got killed but we wanted to celebrate that he lived before so we decided to do his funeral all in white instead of in black. Uh, and as a tribute to him, uh, the, sens the second sensation, we asked the audience to come in white and about 80% of the audience showed up in white. So it was for us a personal, uh, fantastic tribute, uh, but in the end it was a fantastic uh, element in the show. So we decided to keep it uh, into the show as a tribute to him and also as a, like a very important theme in the uh, Sensation uh, show. I think that's so amazing because Sensation is more than just an event. It's actually a tribute and a celebration to life dressed in white and that just gives me a lot of mad respect for it so much more. So tell me about your different shows and how you guys got certain DJs involved and the types of music and the conceptualization of performances. Yeah, uh, when we started we just had like, we had hard style DJs, even hardcore DJs and even club DJs all on one stage, uh, all, all following in a row. Uh, but then we noticed that the, the audience was getting so big, so we tried to focus on uh, one kind of style of music. In the beginning it was a little bit of trance and later on it became more house. And now, uh, yeah, it's still house and sometimes with some EDM influences. Uh, and we've got five different shows touring all over the world and they all have the white dress code of course, they all have the center stage uh, but they all have different themes and f different uh, decos, different stages and also uh, different styles of music uh, that makes it very uh, diverse so whenever we come back next year you got a total different show that, I think that's one of the important special things that we bring to the audience so when you're traveling to different places in the world, are there different performers, different DJs? Yeah, we never have one. We only have one uh, uh, DJ which is always with us. That's Mr. White, uh, and, it, and he always starts up the crowd. Uh, and later on, there are different DJs uh, performing. Uh, it's also because there are different cultures and different uh, DJs are popular in the country, but also. Uh, uh, because of the availability of the of the DJs, of course, and also we always have Mr. Uh, MCG as a host, of course, which is very important. Even though we're just at the preview of Sensation White, I'm still feeling a little underdressed, so I'm going to go get my all-white outfit, and we'll check you tomorrow.